once a shining star on the football scene. Stefan and Sharawi captured the attention of fans and analysts alike with his incredible skills and raw talent. He had the potential to match the likes of Neymar. The Rossoneri was highly admired in his early years, being indicated as a true prospect for Italian football and as a future reference for his national team. However, little by little, he disappeared and today he is considered an eternal jewel that never achieved its consolidation. A diamond that couldn't blossom, a work that is still in progress. Today, I present you the fall of the pharaoh, the unexpected career of El Sharawi. In the 2011-2012 season, the name Stefan El Sharawi resonated in Italian football and in the football world as a true prodigy of this sport, projecting him as one of the best footballers on the planet in the near future. His playing characteristics show us that he was an attacker with skillful ball handling, speed in his runs, and irreverence toward his opponents. He made his professional debut with Genoa in 2008 and was loaned to Padova in 2010. A year later, Milan's signed him after seeing all his virtues on the field. They were excited about how much potential he could provide for the club. While Milan envisioned making El Sharawi a long-term project, the coach at the time, Massimiliano Allegri, decided to keep him in the club, avoiding being loaned out. This way, El Sharawi started a path from more to less, being a truly marvelous player in his early days at Milan, displaying a game that amazed even some, becoming the favorite of many fans both for his football and the weird hairstyle he wore. In the 2012 2013 season, his number exploded as he was consolidating himself in AC Milan, scoring 18 goals in 46 games played and providing 8 assists. This is where he started getting compared to another young rising star, Neymar Jr. It made sense why the two were being compared. Both were relatively young and both were left wingers. The haircut they wore made them more alike apart from their skills. They were completely identical, so I completely understood where they were coming from. A fact that you might not have known is that El Sharawi could have represented different international teams including Egypt, Venezuela, and Italy. But he opted to be an international with the Azzurri. He debuted with Italy in August 2012 and played in a Confederations Cup in 2013 and a Euro Cup in 2016. Despite having some years at a good level, he did not manage to play in a World Cup either because he was not considered in the World Cup in Brazil or because Italy did not qualify for the World Cup in its last two editions, 2018 and 2022 respectively. And that's all his history for the national side. He wasn't given the chance to show his talents on the national stage. And Sharawi was very affected by his own body, as physical problems stopped him from completely in his quest to become that world star he promised to be. Consequently, his numbers dropped radically, being criticized by the fans, added to the poor sporting reality that the Rosinari team lived for years, causing El Sharawi to lose all possible prominence and momentum. He spent four seasons at Milan until, in July 2015, he decided to try new airs to recover his best form, joining Monaco of the League One. In search of playing time and experience, but unfortunately, Things did not go as he thought once again. He played 24 games, scoring 3 goals and providing an assist, and was not an undisputed player on the team. He returned to Italy 6 months after arriving at the club. In January 2016, he was loaned to Roma, where he regained his confidence, becoming a goal scorer in his first months, causing the Wolves to exercise its purchase option for 13 million euros. His performance remained stable for a season, although he was not an undisputed player in the start. 11. He registered 12 goals in 44 games, establishing himself as a key player without being entirely fundamental. As a Roma player, he remained there for three more seasons, where his level was quite good. His performance remained consistent the following season, although he was not a guaranteed starter again. However, what practically destroyed his career is when he left to China. Stefan El Sharawi joined Shanghai Shenhua in July 2019. His signing was for about 20 million euros. Maybe people assumed that he made this move for monetary reasons, as no player in Europe wants to play in China willingly. I feel like there had to be a big bag offered on the table. He scored his first goal for the club just one week after his arrival and went on to score 7 goals in 14 appearances in his debut season. In his second season, however, El Sharawi struggled with injuries 
injuries and lost his place in the starting lineup, he only managed to score two goals in 11 appearances, and his contract with Shanghai Shenhua was terminated early in January 2020. Overall, El Sharawi's time in China was mixed, with some high and some low moments. Despite some struggles in his second season, he positively impacted the team in his debut season and helped Shanghai Shenhua avoid relegation. In the midst of a pandemic, the Faro wanted to return to Italian football, being tempted by Juventus and Roma, finally returned to the light of place that they had already defended in an optimal way, being quite loved by the fans. When they talk about El Sharawi, many people think of AC Milan, but to be honest, Roma has been the team that has had them the most. He has been there for almost 7 years, excluding those horrific years in China. Yeah, let's totally forget about that stint. The Pharaoh returned to finish what he started a long time ago, staying with Roma for a few years until now, adding three seasons of his return to the Italian league. Stefano Sharawi is 30 years old, an age where he should be at the peak of his career, but due to physical problems, he has not been able to fulfill his potential as a player. The Pharaoh, at his best, was positioned in the verses against Neymar for the year 2012, when both were prospects in full formation. Now, to see the magnitude of what the Brazilian was and what the Italian ended up being, we could say that El Sharawi fell far behind in the projections of many. Really, that he could have been much more if he had not been a victim of injuries. An evil that now affects the analysis of new talents and that, in the case of the Pharaoh, ended up being the great cause of his failed consolidation in the football world. In short, Stefan El Sharawi's rise was rapid, but his fall was also rapid. Despite having plenty of conditions to excel, he failed to meet the expectations that many place on his talent, being remembered for being that skilled Rosanero attacker who, with his goals and hairstyle, caught the attention of many for the years 2011 through 2013, without being able to consolidate and remaining as a great promise that was not fulfilled.